And if you're a long time, hopefully 60 year viewer, you really get to live, relive some of those wonderful moments that have kept you coming back all these years. It's really, it's really a, a, a treat for us. And as Rena said, a gift back to the fans and for all these years that you've been with us. And speaking of fans and those of us that have been especially watching lately, your character, Olivia, just had a huge week when her best friend Lois reveals some juicy info. I want to talk about how fun it was. Those scenes that you had together were super emotional. How fun was it to shoot those scenes? Oh, it was it was it was really quite a day. Uh, a little behind the scenes, how the sausage is made. I actually um, there was there was some um, 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 drama with episodes being switched around, and I had the wrong, I had memorized the wrong script for that day. <laughs> so that day, everything that aired that day that we had that big fight, I had to memorize. I believe like five or ten minutes before oh. I was like, like this. So, so that was a sort of a degree of, of an extra degree of difficulty. I haven't seen it yet, but but those those I really was pulling out of my whatever. So hopefully they worked. Um, but oh it really was a very exciting day to shoot. And I, Rena is so great. I mean, that, that's just such a treat to work with her. Oh my gosh, I just got the chills. Yeah, not only did you do fantastic in those scenes, you looked fantastic in those scenes. Mama Mia! That, that dress isn't something that you want to wear in real life. And I had to keep running out the door, and I'm like, but my legs won't move. I'm like, keep on, keep on, keep on. It's going to look a little silly, but we made it work. Oh my, oh my gosh, yeah. did you ever? But the thing about you, Lisa, your chemistry with everyone, from Ned, when you were saving him from the, the pond there at the Quartermain Mansion, to Leo, to Carly, to even Nina, it makes this all so real for us fans. What has it been oh, like for you to be part of this cast when you have admitted you've been a longtime fan? L literally, it is nothing short of a dream come true in my life, and I and I really do mean that. Um, you know, the joke always was how I had a fan letter that I'd written to Tristan Rogers when I was like eight or nine years old, and I used to tape it to my door. He, just in, out of respect, I eventually took it down. Like, dear Mr. Rogers, you're my favorite actor. Get the ice princess, no matter what you do, and keep up the good work. And he's like, yes, yes, very funny. Um, but it has been literally a dream come true. Every little new thing, like I can't believe I'm having coffee at, at, at Kelly's, and I can't believe that I'm walking through the doors with the circle around them. It, it's been a dream come true since the day I stepped on the set. So then um, I have to ask you, you know, a lot of us are long, obviously longtime fans, but what do you think it is? Like, what makes GH so special and a, a, a show that has been on the air for more than 60 years? Stories. It's the stories. Even if the stories are a little bit out there, even if it's me, you know, getting injected with uh, LSD and becoming psychic or whatever it is, <laughs> probably that never happened to you. But everyone can 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 relate to the feeling of of being, you know, out of sorts and trying to figure out what's reality. You can always relate to. You've probably never been, you know, shot and thrown in a river, but you know what it feels like to be physically incapacitated or whatever. And you and you and, and the, the humanity of those stories, when you tap into that, everyone gets together and, and it keeps generations together too. We hear that all the time. I started watching with my grandma. Mm -hmm. I started watching with my mom. And still today, they're together, keeping families together. Mm -hmm. And People are always telling us, you don't understand. You guys are doing a public service. At the end of the day, I've been working in the hospital, teaching kindergarten, doing whatever it is I do. Mm -hmm. At the end of the day, I need to just shut my mind off from my own problems mm -hmm. and watch your problems, which are always so much worse than my problems in real life because you're high on LSD and it made you psychic or whatever it is. But it, it, we, they're like, we need these stories that we can escape from whatever it is that is going for just a, an hour. And let our minds go to something else. And and that those are the things I believe that keep a show like ours going for 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 60 years. Well, Lisa, um, it, it has been a joy. Yes or no answer. Can Olivia forgive Lois? Yes. Yes. Oh, yes. Spoiler alert. Yes. <laughs> and, and congratulations on your 30th, Tracy. That's no joke. Yes. I mean, congratulations to you. Yay! How do you do it? Oh, Reporter my goodness. number two. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> Yay. Oh, that just made I love my it. year. Oh. Congratulations to you. Oh. Lisa, thank you so much. Thank you for oh, that greeting. You have no oh. idea what that means to me, that you took the time to say that. We appreciate oh. your time. We love GH so much. Thank, Thank you. you. And so everyone much. watch this special tonight after The Bachelor. You we will. better believe we will. <laughs>
Oh, yeah. Thank you, Lisa. Thank you so much. Good to see you. Thank you. General Hospital, 60 years of stars and storytelling. It's tonight at 9 p.m. right here on ABC7. Watch breaking news on YouTube. Subscribe to ABC7 Chicago Eyewitness News.